Mary Me, Air Signs, Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. Welcome to your 2017 Moon in Pisces reading with me. So, um, you can watch these videos for your moon sign, your sun sign, your ascendant rising sign, all of them, whatever you feel called to do. I do want to encourage people to watch the general one as well, as at least one of their other signs, um, moon, sun, or ascendant rising. All right, so I have, um, I'm using four decks this time around, and I've already shuffled them and pulled them to save a little bit of time. I'm going to read out of the booklet with one of them. Um, one of them is a crystal healing card, so I am also giving you a crystal you may choose to work with during this time, this reading. So before I get started, well, what I'm going to start with is um, throwing out there some potential new intentions you may wish to set. Um, if you already know some intentions that you have that you'd like to set with the new moon, don't let me stop you. Um, this is just some stuff that's coming up, some messages coming up from spirit that um, you may wish to add to that. Um, the energies are really supportive in assisting you with these things. So it's a great time to set intentions for your healing and reconnecting to your true nature. If you need to heal in any aspect of your life or um, you know, your health, your body health, your physical body health, or your holistic health, mental health, etc., great time to do that. Um, it's also a great time to set intentions around being more patient and developing more patience. You may wish to ask for assistance with this, help from guides, um, spirits, angels, whatever you connect with, fairies. Um, wonderful time to set intentions around that. It's also a great time for the air signs to set intentions related to um, spirit guides. Trusting, um, trusting, trusting their spirit guides, um, recognizing their spirit guides, connecting with them, having them show themselves to you, whatever you feel um, intuitively like you would like in relation to your spirit guides. It's a great time to communicate with them, to talk with them, and to set intentions around that, getting assistance from them and getting to know them. It's also a great time to set intentions related to finding a mentor. If you feel like you would like a mentor in something, maybe you're trying to learn a new skill or trade or um, for whatever reason you, you feel like you need a mentor if you're going vegan, maybe you want to be a mentor or, you know, um, that's just my personal life, how I relate to that and think of that is um, with that. But, you know, there's lots of reasons um, that people may want to mentor at some time in their life. So maybe you're getting sober, maybe, you know, you have an addiction, you're getting sober and you would like a mentor. Um, great time to set intentions around that. Okay, and around that person being, you know, a trustworthy, good helper, all right? It's also a powerful time to set intentions around calling in new spirit guides, um, new guides, new people as well, so on the spirit realm and also on the physical realm, who are trustworthy um, and helpers, all right? So whatever that means to you. It's a good time to set intentions related to um, increased sense of enlightenment, reaching enlightenment. Enlightenment to me is a is not something like somebody achieves and then they're always enlightened. Enlightenment is a state of being that we go in and out of, just like um, I'm hungry, um, I'm tired, you know, I'm happy, I'm sad. Enlightenment is a state of peace that um, is reached and then, you know, and shit, we come out of it. So um, if you want to experience more enlightenment, um, it's a great time to set intentions around that. I think it's also a great time to set intentions having to do with meditation. If you want to meditate but are struggling with it, um, it's a good time to set intentions around that as well. All right. um, one last thing with the intentions. If you would like to see results of your hard work, or your persistence, or your, more specifically, your um, 
in patience. You are moving uh, quickly, rapidly. You are um, not idling in the past. <laughs> so hopefully, if, if that's something you want to set intentions around, you can word it better than I am doing. But you know, if you've always been kind of right there to take action, not hesitating, not waiting, um, you know, and really pushing, pushing through, working really hard. And if you want to see results for that, you can set the intention for that as well. I'm not saying it will or will not happen, but um, doing so and then releasing any attachment and negativity having to do with it um, may be helpful for some of you. Okay, so it is a time where you are being asked to have patience. For some of you, this has to do with your healing. Some of you are going through a healing process. Some of you are recovering from things, from addictions, from um, sicknesses, um, from patterns, uh, the attachments, okay? Um, it's a great time to also, you know, there, the spirit is asking me, my guides are telling me, the spirit is asking me to let people know that as some of you have been wanting to connect with spirit guides, have been trying to connect with spirit guides, and it's your impatience that's pushing them away. You have to have patience, okay? And it's that sort of antsy energy of needing, wanting answers now, wanting something now. Um, they don't respond to that. When you put intention, you release and uh, the attachment to the outcome, they're more likely to come through. So I do see for some people here, there is um, some stuff going on having to do with um, shifting the way of being, kind of slowing down, practicing more patience, allowing, um, not being so pushy towards others, having to have things, um, and finding more peace and serenity from that, from um, kind of, from, there's a lot of, for some of you I'm seeing there's been a lot of negativity having to do with your impatience. You've been wanting something and you're not getting it, so you, you're creating acid in your body, you're creating um, upset within yourself. Alright, so there's a releasing of that as you slow down and you accept the now and you are having more patience. Um, okay, and also you're opening a window when you do that. You're healing your physical body. You're, you're healing um, your mind, etc. Your nervous system. You're also allowing in guides, helpers, spirit, etc. So positive shifts around that. The crystal card that you got was the Nirvana Quartz, and it's. Uh, keyword is enlightenment. This card has to do with um, removing karma from stepping off from the karmatic wheel. All right, so breaking out of negative patterns and moving into something more authentic. All right, so that's also a good um, intention. I'm sorry I didn't mention that earlier, but if you want to um, step out of a karmatic wheel. Or you want to um, stop being your own victim, right, to your own negative patterns. If you want to shift negative patterns into something more positive, it's a good time to place some tension for that as well. All right. Um, it, the messages with this card are to open yourself to receive enlightenment. Meditation is good. Um, to welcome in new beginning and fresh energy. The Pisces new moon is sort of the beginning, but not really. It's like, it's like when there's a baby growing in a belly, right? It's new, it's new life, it's growing, it's new, but it's not on earth yet, right? So Aries is like once the baby has been born, it's the first, you know, breath of life. It's the first encounter um, in, in, in this life. And like. But there's something before that. There's the creation process, the behind the scenes, the stuff that happens in the dark that nobody, you know, nobody's seeing, in the womb, whatever. All right, so Pisces is kind of that energy, the in the womb creating thing, where Aries is that, oh, now we see what's 
what's to come, now we see the baby, now we see it, right? So this is kind of a new beginning, and at the same time there's another new beginning coming with the sun moving into Aries, with the new moon in Aries as well. I completely forgot why that came up, but there's a special message in here attached with this crystal and also with your chakra card. It says, if you have been experiencing or are experiencing traumatic times and soul challenges, relax and wait for resolution. Again, it's saying patience, have patience. Um, don't bother pushing against the river, go with the flow. Right? Um, oh, because this crystal wants you to recognize that it's a new beginning and it's a fresh start. And for some of you, it might be a good idea to like clutter clear, to freshen your energy in your home or your body, do some sort of detox or cleanse or something to really, you know, be going with the flow and allowing that in, out with the old, in with the new. Right? The healing insight with this card is karma is created in each moment by every thought and deed. Uplifting thoughts and positive actions ensure your future well-being. All right, so its frequency is exceptionally high. The chakra it's associated with is the highest crown chakra. Its timing is Pisces, and its soul path message is embodying enlightenment on Earth. It's a very powerful, lovely um, reading for you, I think. I hope you feel the same way. If you want a personal reading, um, the link for that is down below in the description. I'll take you to my website and pretty simple from there. If you'd like to pay my Etsy store a visit and see what um, I have for sale up there, thank you. The link is down below in the description for that as well. I hope everyone has a wonderful SBAT, um, wonderful new moon, and until next time, Mary Park, Mary Meet Again. Bye.